Hi, so welcome to this video. So this video is showing you how we record our Lightboard videos for chemistry. And first of all, I'll start by showing you the room and the setup, and then I'll go through specifically how to give a presentation for the Lightboard. So the room, we have the Lightboard, which we will be using for the Lightboard videos. The Lightboard has lights at the bottom, at the top. So these are LED that are within the frame, and we have our two large lights that are on the side. We also have a microphone on the side that I'll be standing for the presentations. And we have this camera up here. So this camera is recording normally on the lightboard. And I have this little video down the bottom where I can see what the lightboard looks like so I can make sure that I'm within the frame of the recording. So at the moment, it's facing towards the camera that we're filming with, but when we're recording, we tend to switch around on the other side. So the presenter can look at themselves and check that it's progressing the way they want it to progress. So I'm going to turn the lights off in the room and show you a little bit more behind the lightboard. <laughs> so this is the lightboard setup. I've got my lights, I've got my microphone, and I just stand behind here and I talk the way that I would talk if I'm presenting to a class or to anyone else in the room. So with the light board, like I said, there's lights above and on the side. And when I push against it, you can see that my finger has this color that's produced and it's, it's essentially lights up. So the textures or the, the whiteboard markers that we use are these ones here. So these are paint markers. And when I write on the whiteboard, on the light board, sorry, you can see that they light up really nicely. So we tend to use really brightly colored paint markers as they give the best effect in this, in this illuminated environment. So a few things about if you're planning on doing a light board, how you would set it up. So first of all, the room, it takes a lot of modification to get it to work properly. And once you've got it all worked up from a presenter's point of view, I like the floating head kind of look when you do the light board. So making sure that you're wearing a dark color, something that has no pattern on it. So that way, when you're writing at the bottom of the light board down here, so I'll draw a little benzene to keep with the chemistry, you can still see that. And it's not my face that's blocking it as it is now with the word chemistry. So if I have a nice dark color, it gives you more space to be able to see on this board. So the other thing is, if I have a name tag, for example, or a label on my clothing, if you look into the camera that's the raw camera, you can see that that comes up fine. But in the version for the lightboard one, it will be flipped and this will come out being illegible and round the wrong way. So from a presenter's point of view, the way that I write on this lightboard is I write as though I'm just writing for myself. So I write chemistry the way that I would write it so I can read it from this way. And then post filming, we flip that around so that it's picked up by the viewer of the video as being the correct way. So in terms of how this affects three-dimensional structures in chemistry, it, it is a little bit different. So if I draw a chiral compound here, so I've got my carbon, let's have my hydrogen going into the board, my big fat one here can be my hydroxyl, and then let's have a CH3 and a, um, a let's do a CH2, CH3. So I've got my chiral carbon, this is going into the light board, this is coming out of the light board. Now, I'll show you the two images and you can have a look at how that differs. So if I was to assign this as being a chiral carbon, so don't worry if you don't understand this, but in order of priority, this would be my number one, my number two, my number three. So this one would stay into the page, so I don't worry about that one. So one, two, three. So this here, for me, is going anti-clockwise 
So it's an S. Okay, so I've just drawn that directly how this works for me. So we can see how chirality can be represented still using a light board video. So in terms of cleaning the light board, just some microfiber cloths are really good. I'll clean out the word chemistry for you. You can probably see how there's a little bit of smudging on this one. So a little bit of window cleaner and paper towel cleans that up as well nicely and making sure you have clean microfiber cloths. The only other thing to think about is reflection or light that's within the room. So ensuring that you cover up any light sources or any um, colored lights that may be on instrumentation that you've got in the room, just to make sure that there's less reflection on the actual light board when you're making the video. So if you want to have a look at some of the produced work that we've done in this studio, uh, check out some of the Lightboard videos that are um, in the link below. And there's also a paper on the output of our Lightboard videos and how they've affected our student engagement. So thank you very much and I'll see you next time.